of December 18th, 2018. I'm Halia. And I'm Elaine, and welcome to your last TNN of 2018. The BBC reports that the famous warship, which was commanded by John Paul Jones, Jones, who is regarded as the father of the U.S. Navy, which discovered, which was discovered, discovered by search experts Marlon Burroughs. Pieces of the ship were found off the coastal town of Philly in Yorkshire. Originally, a merchant vessel named Duke de Duras, the ship was built in France and donated to the American youth cause by King Louis the Sixteenth. Seven. 1779, renamed Boehm Richard II. On her both centuries, the discovery has caused lots of excitement on social media as historians have long felt that th this discovery would happen one day. Today we don't really realize how much plastic we throw away. We are damaging the environment one act at a time. Nothing we use for a minute should be allowed to pollute our oceans and rivers and threaten wildlife for centuries. For a bird, fish, or turtle, it's easy to mistake a small piece of plastic for food, especially when there are millions of small pieces floating around the ocean. Environment Arizona is taking steps to encourage businesses to use more products that are environmentally friendly. Let's make a stop to this and recycle our plastic. Now let's go over to Mr. Good morning, students, staff, and parents. I'm very excited to be able to announce our students and employees of the month for December. Our employees of the month are our certified teacher, Mrs. Josie Nelson, our kindergarten teacher, and Mrs. Jana Weston, our classified paraplay. <coughs> In Mrs. Coleman's class, our student of the month, Chloe Cook. Mrs. Hammond's class, Brandon Fong. Mrs. Nelson's class, Sophia Garcia. Mrs. Bruner's class, David Trujillo. Mrs. Glady's class, Aaliyah Anderson. Mrs. Tracer's class, Aiden Holly. Mrs. Weaver's class, Juan Carbajal. Mrs. Webb's class, Alexis Bruner. Mrs. Aguirre's class, Braxton Fulkerson. Mrs. Notwell's class, J.C. Proctor. Mrs. Rum's class, Ryak Roberts. Mrs. O'Malley's class, Braxton Sherman. Mr. King's class, Aaliyah Nieto. Mrs. Denny's class, Hope Ricks. Mrs. Worsham's class, Wyatt Jones. Mrs. Brooks' class, Alexis Ortega. Mrs. Payton's class, Holly Wilson. Mrs. Zimmerman's class, Kyle Caravo. Mr. Panko's class, Regina War. Mrs. Hansen's class, Nathan Busby. Mrs. Warren's class, Mackenzie Nunez. Mrs. Ryan's class, Avalon Landor. Ms. Wilgen's class, Jacob Pue. T. Brown's class, Nyla Phillips. M. Brown's class, Angelina Hall. Ms. Quinn's class, Leticia Patino. Ms. Wright's class, Sierra Martinez. Mrs. Martinez's class, Emily Boucher. And Mrs. Barnes' class, Kayla Lordinson. Thank you so much. Great job, students of the month. Good morning, student staff and parents. Welcome to the last week before Christmas break. I hope you are as excited as I am. Today, quarter two report cards will be going home, so parents, please look for those, and please make sure you're signing and returning with your child. Today, our boys basketball team will be competing in the district championship at Ruth Fisher at 4 p.m. If you're able to make it out to support our students, please do so. We will have Galileo benchmark testing all week this week, so parents, please make sure your children are going to bed at a decent time and eating breakfast in the morning and making sure they're getting enough rest. They will be testing ELA, math, and science. On Friday, we will have an incentive day for middle school students who received one mark or less on their cards. They will be going to the park and watching a movie in classrooms. We will also be doing honor roll and perfect attendance celebrations on Friday. I will be um, visiting all classrooms and giving awards and um, incentives to those kids. And students, please make sure you're trying your very, very best on Galileo for second quarter. We will be having an assembly the Friday we return from break, and there will be rewards given for students that show the most growth and try their very best on testing. 
please keep your behavior in check. We want um, everyone to be able to participate in fun events this week after testing. So do your best and have great behavior and have a wonderful and safe break. Thanks, Ms. Burton. Now let's go over to Malia with sports. Welcome back to sports. My name is Malia. The Cardinals lost to Detroit Lions 17-3. The Cardinals are now 3-10. I will let you know how they finished their season after the break. The Phoenix Suns lost again, this time to the Los Angeles Clippers, 123-119. to They are now 4-23 and and on track for one of the fewest wins season in NBA history. The Varsity Boys basketball team are still undefeated. They won a game against Ruth Fisher. Good job, boys. Keep up the great work. That's all for sports. See you back here in 2019. Thanks, Malia. Here's Aaliyah with Name That Thing. Hi, my name's Aaliyah, and welcome back to Name That Thing. Last week, the answer was a walking shelter. Shoes that turn into a tent. At the time of filming, no one had correctly guessed. Are you ready for a new one? Here's this week's item. If you think you know what it is, go to the link below. See you next time on Name That Thing. Thanks, Olivia. Let's go over to Hannah with Science Time. <coughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Science Time. My name is Hannah. Have you ever wished your stuffed animals or dolls could come to life, like in Toy Story? Well, now they can. To, so, to some people, this might be a nightmare, but to others, it's a dream come true. Robotic skins are parts that you can connect to an object to make it sprint, walk, climb, or jump. By using elastic polymer or fabric, these legs can easily be attached to anything to perform tasks. These work because air pockets pump gas or, or, nickel, in, or, or, or nickel to make it contract when heated by electric currents. NASA and some other companies have big plans for the for the future of technology. Pretty cool, right? That's all for science time this week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Hannah. Here's Ben with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome back to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Ben, and today you got three facts about the Twitch streamer Ninja, and you have to guess which one is right. Is it A, Drake showed up on a stream with Ninja, B, Tyler Richard Blevins, is Ninja's full name, or C, Ninja makes around $300,000 in a month. You have 10 seconds to guess which one is right. If you guessed A, you're correct. Drake appeared on one of Ninja's live streams on March 14th, 2018, with fellow rapper Travis Scott and NFL star Juju Smith-Schuster. This set records for the website of Twitch. More than 600,000 people were watching this at one point of the stream. Come back next, come back next year for more Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks, Ben. Let's go over to Word of the Week with Kurt. Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm back with Word of the Week. This week's word is option. It is a noun. This week's word's definition is a thing that is or may be chosen. The way you can use it in a sentence is at an American supermarket, you always have hundreds of options. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thanks, Kurt. Here's Danny with This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History. My name is Danny. On this date, December 18th, 1620, the Mayflower docked at Plymouth Harbor and stepped foot on the now famous Plymouth Rock. This ended an over three month journey that the Pilgrims started in the early September of that same year. They didn't know what there would be in the winter though. The winter of 1620 to 1621 was brutally cold. By spring, 50 of the 102 passengers were dead. The remaining Pilgrims would head back to England in April of 1621 but they formed relationships with the local Native Americans that would keep them coming back over the next several decades. This is all for this week in history. See you next year. Thanks, Danny. Let's go over to Gavin with Weird News. Welcome 
welcome back to Weird News. My name is Gavin. Nothing spreads Christmas joy like the sound of almost a thousand tubas playing all at the same time. A massive tuba assembly has smashed a Guinness World Record in Kansas City and spread some Christmas cheer. 835 tuba players performed Silent Night two weeks ago, setting a world record. Symphony Executive Director Frank Bernie says musicians range ages 11 to 86 years old. That's all for your news. See you next time. Thanks, Gavin. Candace is here with Joke of the Week. Back to Joke of the Week. I'm Candace, and this week I have with me Gabriel from Miss Brooks, fourth grade class. So, Gabriel, what's your joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? You're up. You're up who? You're up to no good. <laughs> Great joke, Gabriel. If you have a joke and you want to be on TNN, go to the link down below. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Candace. Let's go over to Tartesso Teasers with Lauren. Hi, my name is Lauren, and welcome back to Tartesso Teasers. Last week's teaser was, what happens once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? The answer was the letter M. The winner was David from fifth grade. This week's teaser is what spends all of its time on the floor but never gets dirty. If you know the answer, go to the link below. See you next time on Tartesso Teasers. Thanks, Lauren. Here's Cadence with uh, Folding Fun. Welcome back to Folding Fun. My name is Cadence, and we're going to be creating a blow-up cube. Step one is to get a square and fold it in half to a triangle. Step two is to open it up and fold it the other way so it's like a crisscross triangle. So you have that center line here in the middle. The third step is that you can either open it and grab two sides and fold it in and that's what I'm gonna do or you can uh, um, open it up um, and sort of fold it in half-ish, where it's a rectangle, and push in the ends, where it would still be a triangle, just smaller. The fourth step is to fold in these ends of the triangle on both sides to where it's a diamond shape and you want it to be as neat as possible but it doesn't have to be perfect and you do it to both sides like i said so it's a two-way diamond this next step is to fold these corners in on both sides like we did for the edges but you're doing this to the center on both sides Again. The last, almost the last thing you have to do is to put these little tabs into an opening from where you folded the corners in. And you have to do that to both sides. The final thing you have to do is to cut off a, just a little bit on the thing and you blow into this little opening if you open it. And there you have it, a blow up paper cube. See you next time on Folding Fun. Thanks Cadence. Now it's time for a few announcements. Cake Pops will be sold after school on Wednesdays. Uh, Kona Ice will be sold during lunch on Thursday. Dex Robotics will be selling candy and Takis after school on Thursdays. And Odyssey of the Men will be selling candies and pickles after school on Friday. Thank you to everyone who's donated cans to the NGHS Canned Food Drive. Here are these week's totals. That's all for 2018. But before I go, here's Charles with Quote of the Week. Welcome back to the Quote of the Week, and my name is Charles. Today's quote was said by a famous person named John Wooden, and he said, Things work out best for those who make the best of how things work out. That's all for, the, that's all for this year. See you next time on Quote of the Week.